How are we doing on our YouTube? Back at it with another one. It's now the uh, the last time you we spoke, which was yesterday. Uh, was still uh, just as I've cash for Wyoming. Um, now we're in Cheyenne. Got the load picked up and uh, heading to uh, Henderson, Nevada. But uh, the way the shipper loaded this, I wanted it loaded a certain way, and they didn't want to load it the way I wanted it loaded. Uh, they feel like I was going to be overweight, which I knew I wasn't going to. I've, I've loaded machines similar to this before, and it just I don't like the way it rides, uh, the way it's riding. Um, so I'm going to move one of the machines. So that's the plan now. I got to unchain one of the machines and move it back some, and. Uh, get to where it will ride a little bit better it's better for the trailer better for the truck and just make it a little bit smoother um, I'm gonna be running across I-70 on this trip so got a lot of mountains ahead of me uh, through um, Colorado and into Utah and I'll be catching 15 uh, from 70 to 15 down uh, 15 straight into Vegas and then going uh, southeast of Vegas and to Henderson Nevada so Want to make the ride as comfortable as possible and better on you know it's not as hard on my truck and hopefully a little bit better fuel mileage and go from there so let's go move this load a little bit and go from there i'm going to try wearing my earpiece it's a little bit windy out uh i know it's kind of bulky uh, but it's actually pretty comfortable um so i'm going to try where so uh, hopefully it blocks some of the wind down you can hear me okay uh we'll see once i uh, get everything moved and go from there so Let's uh, go move this and see what happens. Be right back. Uh, just a little quick uh, note there, uh, guys. Uh, I just played back the video and I didn't realize that you couldn't basically couldn't hear anything I said. Um, but I'm gonna post up the video anyways. I hope you still enjoy it. Uh, I use a lot of my hand hand gestures to kind of show what I was doing. Um, hopefully it helps you guys somehow. Um, I apologize I, if I I'll, I'll try to reshoot another one, do another machine. If I have to, um, like I said, I apologize. So I hope you still enjoy the video, but I just want to let you know that before you start watching it, that I was under the impression you could hear me through my headset, but I obviously it didn't, uh, it wasn't picking up as loud as I thought it was. It was picking up everything else, but not my voice. So I just want to let you know that. And uh, so hope you enjoy the video and uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys can uh So, as you can see, it's set a little bit forward up there. I want to bring it back here. Now, I could put 40,000 pounds on this split. So, I know I'm fine if I bring it back here and just kind of let it ride in the back and kind of give it a, a little more smoother ride. It'll kind of, even though it's not as heavy as this one, it'll kind of counterweight the weight. Because right now, more of the weight's pushing on the truck, which is fine. I'm perfectly legal up front. I could leave it this way if I really want it but it's not riding that comfortable. And uh, with it being as hot as it has been, uh, putting too much weight on this front axle, I have risk blowing tires. So I'm gonna bring it back and even the weight between these two axles in which will make it a better ride. It's easier for the trailer or easier on the truck, you know, so on and so forth. So let's get started. I'm gonna unchain, oh, you can see my hammer. I'm unchain this chain first, the chain over there, one in the front, two in the front and drive it backwards.
process of chaining it back, I'll move the camera here so you guys can see better, it's basically just the opposite of what you watch me do, but I'll let you see here how I do it, or how I like the chain, hope I didn't zoom in too much there. Thank you. 
back. I'll bring you guys back here. Make sure I can get y'all in a good spot. Get y'all in a good spot here. Okay, that's a good angle. Move you to this side so you can see on the same process on the opposite side here. See it right there. And then what you need to do when you run your chain is always make sure that wherever you put the chain on one side, you put it in the same, the same spot as the pulling stretch that way. You're pulling even on the machine less strength and strength. It just works very well. Opposite side. Look at there.
still sometimes get a bouncing up and down. That's because you're on rubber tires, which that's a given. So like this one, I could, a couple more. More there. Look at there. So that's basically how you chain it down. Every machine's about the same concept. Uh, you know, you may have to use four chains instead of just two chains. You know how wide the machine is, how far the chain has to reach from one side to the other. But now it's tight. You have this little bit of slack here because there's so much little, I don't have to put a bungee there now. Um, this angle here is a good angle where it's not too. If I try to come way out here, uh, back here, you're losing the purpose of it. You're not holding the machine. I mean, yeah, you're pre preventing the machine from going back and forth, but at the same time, it's not really pulling down. This is a good angle because it's pulling down and it's pulling forward and backwards. So like this one's pulling backwards, that one's pulling forward. So now the machine can't go forward or backwards and it can't go up and down. Now, like I said, because it's rubber tires, they can, it can, you will see if I'm see it kind of bounce up and down which that's a given, there's not much you can do for that. But it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not going, it's not gonna move. Um, it's just not gonna go anywhere. Now with this one, this machine, because it, you know there wasn't nowhere to tie down in here, I could have went to this king pin, this pin lock here, but I felt like that wasn't very safe because I needed to put two chains back here. I didn't trust that pin to withstand the pressure of two chains pulling against it from opposite directions. So there's a hole here you can run up into this counterweight, up and up, and hook it here. So that's what I did. I got X chains, one pulling this way, one pulling that way. And the reason I do that is because this machine is so large, and it's kind of, because it, as you can see, it's a little bit tall, it's top heavy. So this, not only, now these chains are serving to three purposes. One, it's not preventing it from going forward, and it's pulling down and it's pulling to the side so now it can't go side to side it can't go forward or backwards and it can't go up and down so that's why you put the x chains now with that step being there it really can't go farther forward anyways but it's always you know always go up the only way to secure me. same concept here i hook it to the mast this is called a mast right here it, it's solid it's hooked straight to the machine it ain't gonna go nowhere they did have anchor points if you can see it back there but there was no good angle to bring it down to hook it to anything. So I could have ran it down and probably um, run it down and hook it straight down here, hook it down. But with this being rubber, this can give. So over time, I probably would have just been battling, tightening the chain, tightening the chain, tightening the chain, because it's not a solid object. So I did X chains here. Actually, I'll climb up top for you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the APU here running. So, I got X chains, one here, one there, pull them down, and then like I said, because this fork can be taken off, I got this chain running across, and it's preventing the fork from going anywhere, plus these chains right here are also up and over, 
there, so that's also giving extra support to the sports. So, you always remember that. Anything with a bucket, uh, forks, anything that can be removed from the machine, uh, like back hose, front end loaders, whatever, you have to run, uh, um, I know most states are okay with putting a strap. Most states want uh, a chain. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go grab a strap once I'm done uh, suiting this. I'm gonna put a strap across this at least to hold the forks down. So that way DOT can't say that I don't have no security to hold the strap, to, I mean to hold the, the forks down there and, um, and go from there. But that's it, pretty straightforward. That's basically how I secure these machines. I'm gonna say now, you know, a disclaimer, this is not, this is how I do it. I'm not saying, um, I hope you guys can see me okay. I'm not saying the way I do it is wrong. It's just the way I do it, it's my preference. I've never had um, DOT give me any flack for the way I secure. I've never had a problem with the way I secure. Um, everything, I've never had anything move. I've never had anything off my trailer. That's just the way I secure it. And to kind of give you a general idea, it's basically about how everybody does it. Some might do it a little bit differently. Some more might have added an extra chain more than I did, but I feel that my securement is more than enough for this machine and the front machine. So that's just how I do it, you know, and, and I hope that it helps you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like videos like this where you like for me to show uh, in real time how I secure something, let me know and I'll try to do more videos like this. I know they're a little bit lengthy, but if you're willing to watch it, if you're wanting to learn how to secure something, I'll continue to do the videos like this. If you don't like the lengthy part of the video, just wanna straight show you the load, show you the before and after, uh, let me know that also. And I, I thank you for the support. Uh, hit that like button if you like the video and, um, and subscribe if you like. And hopefully I'll see you guys out there uh, in Vegas or Henderson, Nevada or somewhere on 70 or something like that. But uh, get my glove off here. So I'm gonna make y'all guys dizzy. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like. And uh, thank you for watching. And like I always say, leave a comment, a suggestion if you want me to talk about anything, show anything. And like I said on this video, if you like this type of video where I'm showing the securement, let me know. If it's too lengthy for you guys, let me know all that also. But as always, y'all keep the sunny side up. I hope to see y'all on the road sometime. And uh, like I said, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, that's fine also. But just see you have any suggestions or pointers, if you see something maybe I'm doing wrong that you feel like might help me, that's fine too. Uh, I'm, I'm, willing to, I'm always willing to learn, and I'm always willing to teach. So if, if you guys like this, let me know. And uh, thanks again for watching. Y'all have a nice night, and we'll see you on the next one.